Hello. Um, I'm a little bit pushed for time this evening, so it's only going to be a short tutorial, but I thought I would look at um, splines, which are ropes and wires, because that's not really something that... Uh, I don't think there's much in way of tutorials on those out there, so I thought I'd just demonstrate how to create them. So, the big problem with the splines, ropes and wires system is that it actually doesn't seem to be possible to get it to connect to things. So, you know, the home plate uh, room where there are wires already up there connecting from conduit to conduit and they're transmitting power properly. But that doesn't seem to work properly in this, so whoever prefers to tuck the functionality out or whether there's something I'm missing, I don't know. But you can use your splines for decoration. So I'm just going to place um, a conduit on the wall uh, now. And I'm only doing that just so you can have something to visibly connect your... Um, wires too. You can just have your wires float in the air or have them connect really to anything you want. But I'm just going to do this for a visit just to have something to connect my spline to. So I've used Workshop Power Connector Wall 01, which is fine. So I'm actually going to um, create my wire now, my spline. So I'm going to go to Static and we're just going to look up Spline and we'll see if these spline endpoint markers, these are what we're going to want to use. So I click and drag that in here and if you've got markers on this little uh, thingy will appear, and if markers, if nothing appears, hit M, and your marker will, should appear. And this red dot here, this is sort of roughly where the wire is going to appear. And so now I'm going to click and drag this just to cover the tip of my um, of my thing. It's not always easy to tell where this is, so you're probably going to have to rotate a lot to tell exactly where the spline marker is. So now we're going to want to duplicate that, so just control D, and we've got this, and we're going to figure out where do we want it. I'm just going to make mine vanish into the wall, just so I can demonstrate that it can be placed basically anywhere. So let's click and drag that to there, control Z to make it go down, and that should be good enough. So now I'm going to make sure I've got both spline markers selected, and only both spline markers. And now I'm going to hit P. And this is going to show up, and as long as your filter is empty, we're going to get a list of all the different kinds of splines we can have. So we can have black wire splines, we can have metal cable splines, red wire splines, or rope splines. So I'm just going to use my black wire spline, and I'm going to double click this, and an enormous thick rigid wire is going to come up, and I'm just going to ignore these uh, settings, because we can change them on the fly in a minute. So if I just double click that, we've got this huge, big, thick, like horrible looking wire, which we don't want. So we're going to want to make sure that our spline is selected, so it's highlight green when it's selected. If not selected, it'll be black like a black wire. And now it can be a little imprecise, so you might, if you're getting nice and close to your spline, it'll be easier. So I'm just going to click my spline now, and still holding click uh, the um, left click, I'm going to hold S as well. And just drag my mouse down to scale it like that. So I've scaled my wire, and you can do, if you wanted to do that, you could. You could click and drag it nice and thin like a wire might look in real life but obviously this is still really really rigid so we're going to want to adjust the slackness here so again holding left click I'm going to hold Control, alt and s and now I'm going to drag my mouse down and we're increasing the slackness there so we can make it as slack as we want we can go wave away like to the max or we can just that's semi realistic isn't it like that bam and there we go we've got our spline so now if I want to make another spline that's connected to this, um, you can't connect a, a spline marker which already has a spline to another spline marker. So now if I control D this original spline marker and move it somewhere, so if it's new spline marker, and you'll see if I select my original spline, it's going to come up and say must connect, must select two unconnected endpoint markers. So now to get it exactly on point, I'm simply going to hook, press control, the uh, end end one here, press Control D, and while that is selected, I'm going to then select my other spline marker. So now those are exactly in the same place, so we're going to hit be exactly on point. Hit P, and now I'm going to do a red wire spline, just for a bit of variety. And we're going to scale the thickness, scale the slack, and there we have it, basically. Now it will appear connected, pretty much connected. I mean, no player's going to get that close up to the uh, the wall, are they? So, and then we can click and drag the spline marker now wherever we want. We might want to adjust the slackness um, to make it a little less slack, because the player will obviously walk into that here. 
So we can adjust the slackness. We can uh, make it less slack. Just control our S, move my mouse up, and I've reduced the slack like that. And like I said, I've been struggling to figure out how to get these connected and to to actually transmit power within the workshop. Now what's happened is if I did make this a workshop cell, and I'm probably going to do that in the next tutorial. I think that'd be a good tutorial. Um, if you grabbed the spline marker, if you grabbed your, the wire in workshop mode, then just press tab to cancel, it would then connect up to the wire and start transmitting power. But just placing it in this manner doesn't seem to be enough. And browsing the forums, the consensus seems to be that that functionality was removed um, for some reason prior to the creation kit coming out. But you can use your spline as decoration. It could be used to guide the player. Say, you know, if a player had to press a button to open a hidden door, you could have wires coming out of the door to guide them. It could just be general decoration. You could have ropes. Do whatever you want. That's just basically uh, how to do them. I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on them because there's not really that much out there. I had to look, you know, spend quite a lot of time looking to figure out how to get splines in the game. So hopefully that was useful. Thank you for watching and goodbye.